So in this tutorials, we are going to learn power mill, Dell Cam power mill. So for this, we are using power mill Pro version 10. So these are the user interface. If you are talk about user interface, these are the menus. Different menus are there. These are the toolbars. Then this is Explorer. This is called as Explorer. Then these are different toolbars below also there and this <coughs> view toolbar is there so at first you have to import some model so for importing the model you have to right click on models import model click on import model then if you want to see the examples given by Dell cam then you have to click on this eg and select any model so you can have different types of formats available for that you should have the license at first if you want to import in other formats. So DGK is the Dell Cam's inbuilt format that is created by PowerShape. So suppose we will take one model. So we will take this die model. Open. So it has been imported. It is in wireframe. To view that model properly, you have to click on this plane shade. So it will be visible properly. Then you can uh, click on this to view the complete model zoom fit. Then using mouse you can orbit it by pressing the roller and dragging the mouse you can orbit. You can view the different views top view, bottom view, then left side view, right side view. All isometric views are there from four side you can view the model from all the four sides then uh, zoom plus minus is there by rotating <coughs> by rotating the roller you can make it zoom plus minus also then you can make wireframe on off by clicking on this button you can make it wireframe on and off you can make plain shade on off by clicking on this button so in this way you can manipulate the model suppose we want to view a top view so once you imported the model then first you have to check the size of the model for checking that size you have to right click on the model and say properties so it is showing you here the length in x direction y direction and z direction so you have to see the overall size whether it is as per your requirement it should not be oversized than your cnc table machine so that length you can check once the size is within limit then you have to check whether any undercuts are there so for checking the undercuts you can use this drop angle shade so green color is correct so here uh, to vary the draft angle you have to right click on the models then click on drawing options then here you have to define warning angle suppose I make the warning angle to 10 degree so here you can see it is showing the draft in yellow color so green is non draft area yellow is positive draft area that you can machine using power mill or using milling machine so that can be easily seen here by changing the draft angle you can see what are the areas are changing suppose if I make the 8 degree so some draft some area has become green so that have draft angle that means it has a draft angle more than 8 suppose if I make it 6 degree then all the draft angle has one is that means draft angle is between roughly between 6 to 10 degree so in this way you can see the draft angle and if some undercuts is there suppose we will take some other model for checking the undercuts so by you can remove this model by selecting model delete all then you can import the next model by right clicking on model right click model import model suppose we will take this 5 axis test open so here you can easily view that some undercuts is also there so the red area is shown by under the red area is undercut area the yellow area is positive draft and green is normal area that can be machined very easily using milling machine. 
so you can make the pan by pressing the shift and uh, roller and dragging the mouse you can do the pan activity so in this object you can see that undercut is there so it will need a five axis machining strategies if you are using three axis milling machine then this object cannot be milled there so in this way you have to check that whether any undercuts are there so we will just remove this object we will import the previous object again import model then i will take that die open then zoom fit so that i can view the complete model then uh, you can check the minimum radius by clicking on this minimum radius shade so it is showing the minimum radius in red color so you can change the setting for what is the dimension for the minimum radius by going to right clicking on models clicking on drawing options and here you have to change the minimum to radius suppose if i say minimum to radius is 8 then you will see that some in some areas there may, may be change suppose if we make it to 5 minimum to radius so it is showing the the red area means the radius is less than that less than the speci uh, radius specify here minimum to radius that is the suppose if i make it 3 and i say accept then i can see that in some areas the radius shade has been changed if again i try to change the setting right click drawing option minimum radius if i say i make it to so if you you will see that the shade has been changed that means whatever read is there it is have the radius 0 to 2 that is the meaning of that so in this way you can check the minimum radius if you want to go back to normal state then you have to click on plane shade and click on zoom fit so in this way you can check the minimum radius then you can uh, make the do the measurements using this measurer tool so first is line is on there so you just have to form we just close it and zoom some area suppose i want to me uh, make the measurement of this line so i will see measurer then just draw a rectangle uh, just press the first mouse button and drag the mouse so it will automatically catch that point intersecting point so it has indicated that yellow line so here it is showing the xyz coordinates then it is showing the length in x axis the difference x is length in x axis different y is length in y axis z is length in z axis so it is showing the angle also in y z x z and y z and it is showing the actual length here 19 is the length same way you can do the measurement for the circle also by clicking on this circle button suppose i want to make some measurement for this circle the procedure is same you just have to drag the first mouse button and leave it so it will automatically catch so it form the circle so here it is showing the radius is 4.9 it is showing the three points coordinates also and center point coordinate also it is showing there so it is it has cast that circle there so in this way you can measure, make the circular measurement also and if i want to make a measurement for other so same way i can suppose i want to measure here basically so if i want to cancel this measurement i have to go to other tab and come back to that tab so in this way you can cancel the measurements previous measurement suppose i want to measure this just drag the mouse button and leave it so it has formed the so in this way you can make the radius calculation you can do the calculation using calculator here scientific calculator is also available and you can uh, type some formula also so in this way you can do the measurement so this was our first training lecture for delcam power mill thanks for joining so we'll stop here